Hi everybody, my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Let's hop into Photoshop, Control N as usual. Um, the width is 1000, height is 1000, resolution is 72, color mode is RGB because we don't want to print it, it's only for social media and so we're going to leave it at rgb 8-bit let's name it birthday flyer push but today's birthday flyer is going to be different from the others today we are going to um apply a little bit of photo manipulation kind of style <laughs> to blend an image to a background as well and so today um today's quite loaded the first thing we are going to do is um, bring bring uh, a background a background like this okay mm -hmm. background like this then um, let's blur it now I have set my blur to control B but you can go through the long process go here filter um, go to blur to Gaussian blur, where is it? This is it. You see, I've set it to control B over here. So, so Gaussian blur, and then there's it. There's it for you. Uh, so you can tweak it to 23.7. Which one works better for you? You can use it. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, we need to uh, give it some curves. Gives it some curves. Um, let's pull this side. I think this is okay. Remember, we can always come back to tweak it. We can always come back to tweak it. Uh, today's on the 25th, so if you are hearing some <laughs> firecrackers in the background, it's because some people are really celebrating. I, sh I should be, I should be going out to have fun. You see? This is good to me. This is good to me. Uh, let's bring exposure as well. Exposure. Let's send this. Um, let's send this till we get what we want. I think this is good. So you're wondering why? Why? Why am I doing this? I want the background to stand out. I don't want the. The, the background and then the image I'm going to put on top to be conflicting so one has to be darker the other one has to be brighter and uh, I want the background to be darker a little bit so that the background the, the, the foreground or the image could stand out okay so I think this is good this is good let's name it PG for background and next thing is our image what image should we use? Should we use this? Or we should use a lady? Nah, I'm a guy. She is a guy, right? She is a guy, of course. She is a, she is a guy. Mm, ladies, I'm sorry, okay. Really sorry, but in times like this, guys are really helpful, so I gotta use a guy. <laughs> okay, so what I did was hold control and click here. Okay, now you're gonna have this dancing ants around the image. I'm doing this because there are some I can see some white white uh, strokes around the image now that's not nice that's not nice you don't want that uh, at your final work so um, you need to take it off I'll hold control and I'll click on it don't click here just click here for me and you have the dancing ants around it um, go to select go to refine edge then push the radius in front a little bit push the smooth front a little bit about six is okay drag the contrast also in front a little bit about seven is okay then bring the shift edge backwards I think minus 21 is okay so you click here and then you go to new layer with layer mask I think this is good this looks good now this was before you can see the difference this is after right so it took the white strokes around it made it more nice like this 
This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. The next thing we are going to do is um, we need curves. Now this where the this where the photo manipulation tricks comes in, right? So you click curves. Make sure you clip it to the image here. Double click here. Pick the darkest side of the background. Click yes. Double click here. The, the last one. Yeah. Double click it. Pick the brightest side. Okay. Um. I think. Uh, you see. You see what the problem is. The problem is. Make sure here it's not selected. Make sure the mask is not selected. Please make sure this side is rather selected. So click here rather. Make sure here it's not selected. Make sure this is selected. You click double click here. Then you pick the darkest side. Yes, double click here. Then pick around this side. Okay, around this side, this area. Pick around this side. Yep. Then you click here and you pick. Uh, all right. I think I'll pick here. Great. The next thing we are going to do is you click here once. That then you pick the darkest side of the image uh, let's go into the hair I think there's some parts of the hair that is very dark pick the hair nice click here once you pick the part that's very bright I will pick I'll pick the yeah around the forehead area or the color or even perhaps the teeth okay now it's the same thing they are all bright areas even the color you can also pick the color we have a variety of options to choose from great um pick the middle one click once and then um this one you're picking a place which is not too bright a place which is, which is also not too dark so we could go for the, the 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 coat or the suit he's wearing or even part of her of his uh around the jawline area or the suit he's wearing okay um or even you see even there or even some parts of here it depends uh, it depends we have a lot of options to choose from a lot like a lot to choose from okay so I'm going to click somewhere around here somewhere around here okay somewhere around there great 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 now what we have done is to blend the image with the background now this is what we had at first okay this is what we have now it's blended nicely to the background but we are still going to go a step further by adding another curve to it great great also give it clicking mask as well then we are going to pull it just the lowest part here a little bit a little bit yeah nice good now, as you can see this is cool like this is really cool really really cool like really cool 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 anyway then we click here let's pick um color lookup click here let's go for um late i'm looking for late where are you late sunset now this late sunset click here click on soft light and let's reduce it to around 50 percent let's see 50 to 55 percent is quite good okay another color look up again <laughs> Let's look for mm, crisp, warm. Great, great. Let's set it to soft light again. Oh, we could go for overlay. I would go for soft light. Let's reduce it to around 30. I think 20% is good. Yeah, I'll go for 20%. 20 to 19%. Uh, 20 to 90 percent area there is cool school 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 so you can see this is what we had at first 
and uh, this is what we have, this is what we have, this is what we have, and this is what we have. So awesome, this is good, right? This is quite good. We blended everything nicely to the background. Uh, let's make sure, put it in a folder or a group. Let's call it image. Image. Now guys, like like this, this is really cool. This looks awesome. Let's type happy birthday, happy birthday. Let's select color white. Um, make sure this is off. Okay, so this is how it looks like. But click here and let's go and look for taken by watches. Wow, I mean, who names a, a font like that? <laughs> taken by watches. <laughs> Oh come on, seriously. So taking my vouchers demo. Okay, I'm going to leave it in the description for you as well. Um make sure it's not bolding, it's not in italics, make sure it's not underlined, it's just like this. Click it, control T, let's resize it, let's resize it. Now if you've been following my videos, you realize that I love rulers a lot. So um I'm going to bring this ruler I'm going to bring another one here and I'm going to bring another one to the middle awesome so when we click here control T we try and align this one to the middle the text has to be centered right good but uh, we want it to be between the image and the background so that to be behind the man now even though you do not see the happy birthday we all know it's happy birthday oh yes we know <laughs> we know it's happy birthday so so let's leave it like that okay we know it's happy birthday you could drag it up if you want to uh huh you could or we could make it a little bit smaller click here uh, Mm -hmm. Do it this way. Maybe give it another. No, one is just cool. Okay. So instead of one space, I just give it double space. Uh, mm -hmm. This is cool. So guys, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Click here. Let's let's call the guy John, right? John. Caps lock is on John. Um, let's use impact. Like I said, link is going to be in the description. Impact John. John. In Ghana, there's a guy called John Dumelo. He's popular. Really love his movies. So John. John here. Um, should we even change the color? Looking at how it is. Let's leave it at white now. And uh, I think I think so. We come down here. Let's name this one Sipin. Now this is going to be Ariel. Okay. a little bit awesome awesome let's let's just make the color yellow and uh, yellow let's use f six nine c one three I think this color is awesome so click here coach um, control click here we need to duplicate it so um, control j duplicates it for us click on it hold shift drag here first you click you hold shift then you drag t first or 30th let's say 30th 30th right 30th of sept drag the sept down a little bit 
and drag the TTF up a little bit. So this is it. Um, we can also bring our social media handle over here. Okay, so uh, let's just see. Uh, let's let's just see. Uh, John Sepenu, right? John Sepenu. For the social media, let's drag it up. And then some set to I can't see from to copy baby let's group it and let's name it um, HDD and um, name right HPD and name happy birthday and name just so we can understand it Joseph and let's change it to Ariel Ariel. Let's reduce the size. Then let's um sorry let's let's boost it here a little bit. I think I got a spelling wrong. John's uh, no caps lock off. Seven. Let's go for bring this one here. Uh, so say we need just two average. Okay, so I'm coming. Let's click here. Click on the white side and um, click the mask. Double click here and click on invert. Great. Click here. Right click there and then click on convert to smart object. Mine is going to be quite different. I don't know if you get it. Uh, so let's say you use Facebook and use Instagram. But I think Facebook owns Instagram. Um, so if you have Facebook, automatically you can you, you can easily get Instagram, right? Because yeah, this may be login or something. Double click here. Go here. Click there. I went to color overlay. Right click here, click on copy layer star, click here, click on paste layer star. Right now we have them the same way. Click here and click here. Control T. Yeah, resizing it. V to activate the move to Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how it looks like. Uh, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I'm so grateful for you sticking around and watching it to the end. Um, I try to give you as much context as possible. Also, try to limit the time a little bit. Um, but please, I do this for you. So, if you like the videos I'm making, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And also, don't forget to leave your comment. I love you all. Peace out.